Hi! For this video, I'm going to take you to the secret Nettie Labs. Follow me. Right, now we're finally here at the Neddy Labs. Let me show you. It's true, all of it. Oh well, let's have a look at Neddy 1.7. You can still use Nebuntu SH to get Nedi installed on a Debian or Ubuntu system, but to make life easier, I've included a OVA image for VirtualBox and VMware. Download the appropriate version for your hypervisor and start the deployment process. Please take note of the information shown here. Rename the VM if you want. I usually select thin provisioning to preserve disk space, but it's really up to you what you're going to do here. Of course, I'm speeding up the process a little bit for the video and then we can start the VM right away. Once Nadian has finished booting, I can log in with root password root. As you can see, the TFTP daemon fails to start. I think this is because of the DHTP settings of the machine. And the easy way to fix this is to simply restart the TFTP server after booting. The proper way to fix it would be to provide a static IP address for this machine. But now let's have a look at the browser. Simply put HTTPS and the machine's IP address and then log in with admin admin. I have included the lab network. With that you can play around with Nedi immediately. If you want to start discovering your own network, the first thing you need to do is to reset the database. This can easily be done in system Nedi, checking reset and enter no drop as user. This means the database will not be dropped, but the tables in it. They then will be recreated without the need of a MySQL admin user. Now we can use the new system setup module to configure Nedi for your environment. The first thing we need to add is an SNMP community. The indicator on top shows that NediConf has been written. Click here to reload the form and click here to peek into NediConf. Now it's time to schedule the network discovery. For that I'm entering an IP address and I add a couple more separated with a comma to add a few more starting points. I leave the interval at 60 minutes for now because this is fine for networks for up to 500 devices. I check the discover neighbor checkbox. With that LDP and CDP will be leveraged. We can see the cron tab has been written. We reload the page and have a look at it. Now your network will be discovered every hour. Go to the devices list and have a look at what's in there now. I even find the ESX server where Nedi was installed. And I can see that's the only VM that's running right now. 
If you configure properly formatted location strings on your devices, Nady can put them in the topology for you automatically. You can display more details of your cities and buildings. This can also be leveraged for drawing maps. Just like this, we have a map. Changing this to devices will look inside the buildings, showing floors and the devices. Removing the city here will draw the region map. Maybe we want to change it to display the device status instead of their icons. Maybe also add the link load. And now we see that everything is gray, which is because nothing is monitored yet. Let's go back to the devices list, filter it on SNMP devices and add them to monitoring. Now we have a monitored network and even a map for it. We can add the map to monitoring map, just like this, to have them displayed on a dashboard. You can still tweak this map, by clicking on it, going back to Topology Map, change the size, change the distance here, and then click Monitor again to add them back to the monitoring dashboard. We see the old map, but we can go into Edit Mode, delete the old map, and simply have this new map the way we want it. In 81.7, you can not only add maps, but also graphs to the dashboards. This can be any graphs from here. I'm selecting top graphs now. Add it to group A. And behold, my new dashboard. We can change the size of the graphs even afterwards, and change the order if desired. Nady 1.7 features a lot of improvements. Let's have a look at the traffic analysis. At the console, we looked up the IP address. With Netstat, you can also check whether the NetFlow collector is running on port 2055. This is what you need to configure on your NetFlow exporter, in this case a PFSense firewall, to send NetFlow information to the NETI machine. Now back at NETI, go to Nodes Traffic and you're eventually going to see this page being populated. If you actually want to look at the current traffic, click Show and maybe enable DNS and Whois Lookup which might take a while for the first time. I'm speeding up the process. And you get a list of your current connections. You could add a sand key graph, but in that case, make sure you have two columns selected only. Click on a name or address to have it added as filter. Clicking several times cycles through different filter options. You can still edit the filter in the text box if necessary. This allows you to filter on a source IP address and display destination address and port columns, for example. The way Nedi combines the discovered information lets you go by a node and view the traffic the node is currently generating. I hope you like Nady 1.7. Feel free to contact me if you wish to update to Nady Plus. Thanks for watching.